hi guys welcome back to my channel today I have four handbags I suppose one's kind of a handbag kind of not maybe not what whatever we'll just say four luxury handbags that I have to reveal today so yeah there's quite a bit to get through so before I dive into today's video if you are new to my channel and you love handbags you love fashion and all that sort of stuff and you aren't subscribed I would love if you would hit that subscribe button below and also the bell to be notified when I upload new videos I tend to upload every weekend and then I might occasionally have a midweek upload as well I've got a few items here from Senrev and I'm gonna give you a little bit of a life update and um, why I've added back one of them and that sort of thing let me just say as well this is not sponsored in any way send rev has not paid me or anything like that so one of the items here was gifted the other one was from some credits and then the other one I actually bought myself as well with my own money so out of my own pocket prior to getting like these bags I actually only had one send rev bag left in my collection um, and that was the aria belt bag it is up on the shelf you won't see it in the background but it's the aria belt bag it's an OG much one of the most like popular kind of send rev bag bags I think in my opinion second to maybe the Maestra or they're like neck and neck sort of thing and I actually rehomed a lot of my send rev bags when I moved up to Queensland because when I moved up here we weren't allowed to drive even though we're literally like next door to each other state wise like I was in New South Wales and I was moving up to Queensland uh, we couldn't drive because of border closures so with uh, COVID lockdowns uh, Queensland had their borders totally closed which was really really frustrating actually and then when you look back at like the pandemic and all the evidence and all these sorts of things it's kind of like it's like pretty mind-blowing that it was actually so strict but yeah um we couldn't drive so we had to fly and that meant that i had to literally all my luxury bags i had to scrutinize what i could let go and that's also why i let go of a lot of chanel bags as well and then i pretty much made the choice that i was going to rehome a lot of the sin rev bags so the meister in particular i used to have a few of them but i ended up rehoming them because they're bigger bags they're pretty bulky and they didn't like flatten down or anything like that i had to be pretty particular about what i was carrying because it was four of us but my son who's too young because he doesn't you know have to pay for a plane ticket i couldn't carry any carry-on baggage for him so it was literally like the carry-on baggage was all my handbags for myself my husband and my daughter our carry-on baggage was just handbags decided to add some of them back and firstly let me just show you I added back the Senrev Mini Maestra. This is in the Dragon leather, which is just a croc embossed leather, um, which is gorgeous, mind you. I actually think that Senrev does a really good job of their croc embossed. I added it back is because it does actually convert to a backpack. So if you pull the straps at the back, you can actually wear it as a backpack, which has always been that thing that I've mentioned on my channel whenever I had revealed a Maestra bag was that I love that I could just make it a backpack on the go so I could go from shoulder bag to crossbody to backpack which is super convenient when you've got kids and that kind of ties into my sort of like life update is that I now have kind of changed my and this is going to be like I know some people are going to not be on board with this some people don't understand this when it comes to their kids but I decided to now homeschool my children and that is for a lot of reasons like there is just way too many reasons to list as to why I decided to homeschool my kids and I'm very happy doing it I've been doing it now for a few months and I love it um, I get to see my kids just get to play and just be children for longer and have fun and be happy, you know, and I, and I've got a girl and a boy, you know, brother and sister, they are really close. They get along so well, they play together, but then they fight as well, like normal kids do. But I just get to see all of that. Plus, I just see my daughter with her schooling, she's doing so much better than what she was before because she's getting that one-on-one -on -one education, which you cannot get, like anywhere, even private schools, you can't get that. It, it's not possible to get one-on-one -on -one education because a teacher is teaching so many students. And that's not to say that I actually think that school, like the school system is bad, whether it be public or private, whatever you choose, I don't think that it's bad. I think there are some bad schools though, that's for sure, and that includes both you know, private and public. But I just see a lot of benefit, like I've seen it personally with her choice now to homeschool. I see that she's grasping concepts more. She's doing way better at maths than what she was before. Doing fantastic at English. Her handwriting has improved so much. Like there were things that she was like, I don't know. Like, I mean, like I don't want to go too far into it. But then also as well, the other reason that I chose to was because I feel like with homeschooling, the kids kind of get the opportunity to figure out their passions uh, because they're not kind of constrained to what the school system's sort of, you know, saying. They can kind of, you know, 
it's kind of like a, like an unschooling kind of way. So we do a bit of a hybrid. It's like an unschooling, but not because I do also do like the curriculum as well. So why that ties into why I've added back the mini maestro is because obviously with homeschooling, I need to make sure that she has that social element beyond just her brother. So every week we will have some kind of park play, which is a meet up with the other homeschool kids that are in Queensland and we'll meet up at the parks or we'll go to theme parks like Movie World, Sea World, Dream World and it'll be like a weekly thing. I may not always attend every week but I try to take my kids at least fortnightly so I just didn't want to be carrying like any of my Chanel backpacks to these events like these social meetings with the other kids and the other mums and dads, mostly mums you know let's just be honest. Um, I just felt like it was just not appropriate. I just felt like it's a bit weird and there was no one else really there like I mean I did see some people with brands that weren't actually genuine but each to their own. I'm not going to judge people like that because I'm just not that kind of, kind of person. But I personally just wouldn't want to be rocking up with like a Chanel backpack. I just thought I don't want to be that one. So I yeah, I added back the Senrev Mini Maestro because it can work as a backpack. It's got a lot of space to it. Super spacious inside. Lots of compartments as well so I can fit a drink bottle in there. Snacks. Sunscreen. Like my stuff. It fits a lot for a you know, a bag that's called the mini, but it ain't that mini to me. It's bigger than than my Chanel backpacks. And then the other two Senrev bags that I got, um, so I'll show you them all together so you can get a sizing indication. So this is the Saddle Kavala. I think that's what it's called. It's in the color magenta. This one, the big one here, is the Mini Maestra. And then this one over here is the LV, I think that's how you say it, LV phone crossbody bag. So that's all three of them there. Uh, obviously the Mini Maestro is the bigger one and it's the bag that you would go for if you need to be able to carry umbrella, drink bottle, agenda or anything like that or if you're a mum and you need something that's going to be able to carry everything and you want to be able to chuck it on your uh, like on your back as well quite a big trapeze shape to it it's much bigger than say like carrying an Hermes Kelly bag and I one of the reasons I rehomed my Kelly 28 was because it was kind of like bulky sort of thing so that's why I don't love this as a shoulder bag I prefer it as a crossbody bag and that's why at the moment the strap is actually like not for shoulder carry I've got it pretty darn long because I will use it either cross body or I'll pull the straps in and I'll carry it as a backpack. So yeah, they're low-key luxury. I think that's the best way to describe Senreb and that's why I've added them back because they are not brand obvious. It's more like if you know, you know. And even that being said, the price point is really good on their bags. This particular one, the Kavala, Kaval, Kavala saddle bag, I actually got it when they were doing 30% off. And you can actually um, bundle the sales, like when they're doing the sales stock, with my discount code, which is uh, no longer a code. <laughs> It's actually a link. So I'll leave the SendRev link down below that gets you 50 USD off the at the checkout as long as it meets a certain minimum. I think it's around about like 300 USD or maybe 250 USD. This was so cheap. I think this was like under $400. I think it was maybe like 375 Australian dollars for a handbag. And it does have adjustable, um, like adjustable strap. You can't make it any longer than this. So it's literally only on the shoulder sort of thing. And it's not big or anything. It's quite a small capacity. I'd say that this is kind of a bit like a wok in my opinion. So that's it there. But I love the leather on this because it's really smooth. And it just has beautiful vibrancy, this kind of smooth leather with this kind of magenta. Some rev bags are made in Italy as well, which is where a lot of luxury bags are actually made in Italy. A lot of luxury items are made in Italy, actually. So yeah, beautiful, gorgeous. First time I've ever owned this bag. I love the new take on their buckle. This as well I also bought for my daughter. So I'm planning on letting her to use this maybe when she's like... 10 or something. I feel like there's no point in giving children like even contemporary luxury items until they understand how to care for their possessions, how to care for things and that sort of thing. Until they've got a concept of understanding, you know, even the value of money, you know, that kind of thing. So I have bought this for her. Maybe I'll use it, maybe I won't, but it's something that I'll let her start to use when I feel like the time is right. This one I picked out because I love that it's got this phone pouch at the back here. It's a clear, what's called the LV phone, phone crossbody bag. So your phone goes inside here and you still can actually um, press everything inside 
inside the pouch here. So it's very convenient. This would be great uh, if you like to go to, you know, concerts, music festivals. Um, also, you know, if you're just taking your dogs for a walk or you're going for a walk yourself, or you're going for a walk with your family and you don't want to carry a bag, but you don't have pockets and you want to be able to carry your phone and say your keys or even like your card, this would be super useful for that because you do have a slot here for your cards as well. Um, you do have a little bit of space to also put your keys inside as long as they're not like in like a key pouch or anything. You can do it cross body and it's got um, the pins here to make it adjustable or you can actually change the clip arrangement and you can put it at the top here. There's two little D rings instead. So that way instead of wearing it cross body, you could actually just wear it around your neck. So you can have it around your neck like that with your um, phone screen like on the outside, whatever. So yeah, very versatile, little nifty kind of small leather goods, I suppose. So those are the three Send Rev bags. Um, like I said, the link will be in the description bar to get the 50 USD off. You just have to click that link when you are going to shop on Send Rev. So that way it'll automatically apply the, um, the discount because I don't have a discount code anymore. That's just the way that it is. It is an affiliate link, just to be totally honest. But the other item I have is from Dior, but I did buy it on Fashion File. I've been wanting to add this bag for a little while now, actually. I don't know if, it's, if I've ever added it on a wish list. I'm not sure. I feel like I had written it down on a wish list, but I don't know if I put it in or, or didn't. But it's something that I have been thinking about for a long time, but I just don't like to buy Dior at the full retail price. Maybe some of them I will when they're like at the lower price end, but like the handbags, the Lady Dior, um, the D-Joy, the Montaigne, the Caro, all those bags, um, at their retail price, it can be pretty painful if you change your mind and you don't want it anymore. They tend to lose like thousands of dollars. I've done that before with a book tote. I think I lost like over, I think I lost a thousand dollars on selling my, my huge ginormous book tote, which I regret kind of now because I actually could really make use of that bag now with, as a beach bag. But, you know, um, back then I really wasn't able to get the use from it. So it is what it is. But yeah, I bought this on Fashion File because I got a great deal on it. I bought it when they were doing a sale. So, without further ado, let me show you what I got. Feel free to place your guesses. What do you think it is? All right. I picked out from Fashion File the 30 Montaigne in the chain. So this is a newer take on the Montaigne. So the 30 Montaigne was just that leather strap before. Now this is called the chain version I think the 30 Montaigne chain flat bag something like that they also have an east west version as well which is more like that away it's like goes that way more this is pretty much the same shape as the 30 Montaigne bag like it's exactly the same just the fact that it's a chain rather than that full leather strap and this one is also removable as well so you've got the buckle here that you can completely take it off and remove the whole chain completely. Um, and then of course you can use this for like adjusting the chain so you can wear it shoulder carry, crossbody, or you can take it off and carry it as a clutch. We can double strap it and just have it up there, kind of like the classic flap. Now, before I talk to you about the bag, I'm gonna tell you price. So the retail of this in Australia is 5,500 Australian dollars, I think it is. On Fashion File, it was listed for 3,000 USD and then you had the 15% off. So in Australian dollars, it worked out to be around about 3,800 Australian. You're probably wondering, because I'm in Australia, how did I go about getting this bag? So whenever I do buy on Fashion File, I actually use an on-forwarding service, so that way I actually get the most control with my shipment. I can choose which carrier it goes with, because um, Fashion File uses FedEx, and I find FedEx to be very expensive, actually, for their shipping and how they calculate taxes and duties and all that, and the brokerage fee. I find it, like, very expensive. So I prefer to use an on-forwarding service, so that way I get to choose which carrier I want to use. So I use Stackery. Um, this is gonna be helpful if you are in Australia, or um, I don't know if I think they do other countries as well. Yeah, they do other countries. It's shipping from the US. So as long as you're buying from the US, this is what this website will be like your go to as an on forwarding service. And then anywhere, I'm pretty sure they ship to like anywhere in the world. So I'm going to leave the referral link down below for the on forwarding service. But otherwise, let me talk to you about the bag. So I know that on Fashion File, they probably have some more of these kind of style of bags or they have the East West chain bag. So I'll leave any of those linked down below that are a good deal because when it comes to Dior, 
they just don't hold their value and if you think that you might change your mind or if you just want to save some money on luxury especially in you know today's circumstances I highly recommend to go about getting it pre-loved you can also get it extra authenticated for peace of mind if you really want to I use real authentication and I've said this many a times before just trying to nut out all the details you know before I show you the bag like nut it all out and explain everything so yeah if you want to get extra peace of mind you can use real authentication but fashion file does have an authenticity guarantee they do have pretty strict authenticity uh, process but nobody is perfect so it doesn't hurt to get an extra opinion anyway so real authentication I do have a referral $5 off code which I'll leave on the screen and as well in the description bar I think it's only one time use per email so you can always just make it make another email it's not an affiliate code or anything it's just a referral code so if you want that extra peace of mind because I know some people do get a bit concerned with buying pre-loved then yeah get another authentication service fashion file like counts as like your authentication service and then get another opinion if you were buying from like someone directly who's not like a professional consignment store that does authentication then I would say get two authentication opinions from two different places that would be my best advice now to talk about the bag so it is a pre-loved bag in excellent condition in terms of the canvas it's immaculate there's no signs of wear whatsoever on the canvas there is no marks or anything no stains which is very important to me because um canvas you know is going to be a little bit more difficult to take care of than leather in my opinion when it comes to stain removal but i did have a scratch on the top because this leather is a very smooth leather so you see that there if it stops focusing on my face so this leather will scratch pretty easily unfortunately and it did have a scratch on the top already and it's obviously going to get scratches from me and I think that these are actually done by me because I have already used the bag once so that's something to keep in mind that if you are looking at getting the Montaigne bag whether you get the full leather one which is probably going to be worse when it comes to scratches you have to be that sort of person that's okay with scratches on their bag and not be too worried about it otherwise if you think that you're going to be really upset about scratches then I would say stay clear of this bag because even like when I rub it like this which usually works with Chanel lambskin and like Swift leather from Hermes. It usually comes out, but with this, it doesn't because it's such a hard calf skin that it's like almost impossible to like do anything about that scratch. Maybe a bit of leather conditioner will help blend that, but I'm not too worried about it. The buckle is stunning. That CD logo at the front, the chain strap. It's got the pocket at the back as well. So you can put your phone in there, whatever, you know, just easy access sort of thing. Um, I think the chain strap is probably like that thing that really elevates the bag with this. I love how they've changed it up a bit. And then the closure is just like a, like there's like a, what do you call it? A press here and it pops up. I do find that it's a little bit tricky to close when the bag's full though, because it's not magnetic. You've got to make sure that they line up together. Divider in the middle between the C and the D, you've got to make sure it lines up in order to close the bag. So I do find that a little bit tricky when the bag is full. And then inside, oh, I've got a hair tie in there at the moment. Um, that's how the inside looks. So it's got a zippered section um, just here. You can kind of see that. Uh, it's got a side pocket as well, just in there. And then otherwise it's just a completely open compartment. But it is kind of, I don't know, it gives me a bit of like a Chanel classic flat kind of vibe, especially now that they've got the chain strap added rather than just the leather. I really like how they've changed it up. And in terms of sizing, it fits the essentials. Um, it will fit like a little bit more, like a mini pochette, that kind of thing. So it's got a good amount of space to it in my opinion. I think it's probably better actually than even the medium classic flat. I feel like it's that kind of bag that can work for going out like as a dressy bag but then easily the kind of bag that you can use casually. Like I just feel like Dior has that multi kind of use effect. I feel like the way that they've done their designs just make it so modern and relevant in today's like fashion day and age like you know when we so the lines are so blurred between like you know going out and day to day like we just want to be able to use our luxury bags in a lot of circumstances so Dior I feel like does it just executes it perfectly with this Montaigne bag it really just ticks both of those kind of boxes 
So yeah, that is it. I think that's all that I have to say for this video. Like I said, I'll have links down below for Sam Rev discount code, um, Stackery, the on forwarder. If you are an international person wanting to buy like on Fashion File or anywhere in the US, I, re I recommend that on forwarder. I've had great experiences with them. I've used them a handful of times already. Also Fashion File, I'll leave a link to Fashion File and then I'll leave a link to any more of these handbags like the 30 Montaigne that are on Fashion File or Vestiaire Collective. Vestiaire Collective is really great as well as like a global shopper because you will know up front what you have to pay in terms of like taxes. It'll all tell you, it'll tell you at the checkout and then when the bag, like when it's delivered to you, you won't have to pay any more. That's what I like about Vestiaire, whereas Fashion File doesn't do that. So like if you're using their service as an international buyer, it could be a real shock, the taxes and duties. So it's kind of a bit better to have control of your shipment and that kind of thing. But yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one.